Hey there, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to make your phone into an iOS-like device. So first of all, of course, this is an Android phone. And I'm going to make it into an iOS 8 style-like phone. So first off, we got to download our apps. And I remember I had a last video about this. And it was this kind of the same. Except this updated version. So um, don't mind this thing on the bottom. Oops. So first of all, we got to download our files. So first one, we're going to use iLauncher. And iLauncher has really been the best um, launcher ever for uh, making your phone into something like iOS. It's really great. So here's the latest version, which is iLauncher version 3.4. So I'm on their website right now. As you can see and I just click download it and it asks to accept the file and I would press OK but then I already have the file in my apps folder so I don't really need to so we're gonna get out of that now if you want to buy iLauncher it's also available in the Play Store let me just type that up here you go it's two sixty five dollars US dollars and I would definitely buy it except I'm a minor and can't really buy it without a credit card or something but yeah here's the latest version 3.4.3.3 and it was updated on February 1st 2015 so yeah this is really good here's the apps and here's the I lock app which is basically the lock screen for your iPhone like an iPhone lock screen for your Android phone here it is and I'm gonna install it because I don't have it on my phone yet and what's cool about this is they updated it recently for a few days before posting this video I've had this app for a while and I haven't really seen it update and it was updated the last time it was updated was around 2012 or something so here it is installed and I'm going to install iLocker I mean iLauncher also it's right here along with my other apps and install one thing I gotta say is I'm sorry that this video is in um, portrait mode and I know it's really really bad if you do a video in portrait mode but this is the only way I can screencast this video while maintaining a good quality on it so here it is so Trebuchet is the Cyanogen Mod 11 um, launchers so I wanna click I launcher and then always so here it is it's pretty cool again it says that when you swipe down it goes to a search and yeah that works when you press the menu it goes to it's like app settings you can change the these and it's very cool especially when they added this icon size you can make it really big or really small okay so another way to go into the settings besides pressing this bottom right here on the bottom is pressing this preferences another thing I like about this is that when you long press you can change the icon like let's say I don't like 9 gag being 9 gag I can set this app as a newsstand app which I usually do when I make my phone look like an uh, an iPhone so yeah there you, go. you can change the name also which is pretty cool and another thing this app is pretty small but it's pretty powerful okay now time to go to my other app so let me just find it here it is slide lock so you're greeted with a nice invitation and start here's it's here it's asking for the notification access so that means if you want a banner that will go on the top of your phone when you get notifications then you can click it or swipe it away 
that's what it means and i've i've always um agreed to it like i always turned it on but then on the past i kind of didn't like it that much anymore because it was kind of being annoying so i'll just go back and here's their change log so yeah they have a really big they had a really big change from the update but here we go go to lock screen when you press this play button right here <laughs> I guess it's like the Google Play app huh it will take you to the lock screen and that's what it looks like see they have a an icon for the notification bar status bar it's really cool you can hide the status bar also and you'll only be greeted with that and your battery percentage is there and it says it's charging there are a lot of um, uh, what do you call this there are a lot of features that are blocked and I agree with that they should do that in the paid version which they already done and it's because this app is really really good it's the best um, it's the best locker app for an iPhone style on Android and there's more settings here but when I go to lock my phone it's there and I agree with that so here's the iOS style remember I could change this like let's say I don't want it to be Chrome I want it to be Safari and there I could also change the name which is pretty cool so yeah that's it guys I'll leave links down below in on how to download these files and install them to make your Android phone Look like an iPhone. See you guys.